Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Setting the inventory defaults allows you to specify the default settings used when you create new items that will be used within your invoices, bills, and purchase orders. You can access this information by selecting Maintain from the menu bar, rolling down to Default Information, and then choosing Inventory Items. On the General tab in the Inventory Items Defaults window, you decide whether or not to allow duplicate UPC or SKU codes. The Ordering tab was new to Peachtree 2005, and many of the functions previously found on the General tab in Peachtree 2004 were placed here. Now here is where you can set whether or not to include quantities placed into purchase orders when calculating the quantity available of a product. You can also set the out-of-stock warning used in the sales invoice and receipt windows. You can set the sales order windows out-of-stock warning message as well. If you have Peachtree 2005 or later, you can also see a new section, the Auto Creation of Purchase Orders. Here you can specify to automatically create purchase orders for both dropship and non-dropship transactions in Peachtree if desired. On the GL Accounts or Costing tab, you can specify which general ledger accounts to use by default when you create items of the various item types that are listed. You can also select the default freight general ledger account used here. On the Taxes or Shipping tab, you define the default tax assignments used for items. You give each a name and indicate whether or not each is taxable or tax exempt. In the Ship Methods list, you enter up to 10 shipping methods from which you will select when you enter customer and vendor transactions. These should be entered from top to bottom, from most frequently used to least frequently used. On the Custom Fields tab, you can create up to five additional fields which you would like to use in order to track additional custom data about your transaction items. You define what fields you want to track here. Then, when you actually create the new items in your inventory, you will fill in the specific values for each field. On the Price Levels tab, you can create up to 10 price levels which allow you to vary the pricing of an item based on a calculation that you specify. These allow you to charge different prices for the same item to different customers based on their pricing levels. When you're finished setting your inventory item defaults, click the OK button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.